Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. We've now got the next four stages of the fan home release of Build the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Hi, I just thought I'd make you aware that if you're interested in buying any World Away merchandise, you can now click on the store tab here, which will hopefully display all the t-shirts I've got currently in my store. If that doesn't work, I've also got links over here in the merch store. You can click on that and that'll be my full range, not just the uh, promotional ones that are on the YouTube channel. Alternatively, on a mobile phone, you can click on the About tab and you'll also see a link in there for the merch store. God, my voice is really deep today. I don't know why that is. Haven't got a clue. It is 20 past six in the morning, so uh, that might have something to do with it. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to be starting with issue 79. We're going to be doing some more work on the bodywork today. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Fan Home website. You can get this all the way from pack one. And as you'll see today, pretty much the bodywork is almost going to be completed. Uh, obviously, this is only 100, I think it's 100 stages. I think it's 100 stages, it might be more. <laughs> uh, but we are coming to the end of the build, so uh, not much more to go. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So this is issue 79. Let me just show you through the magazine one last time. As you can see, lots to do with uh, other dodges and stuff, but we have got bodywork panels and some reflectors to put on, pretty much like we did last time, which means I am going to use my partwork upgrades mat, get all this in, so by the end of this stage, it's looking just like that. And this time it's the special edition Sprueverse Challenge mat. I do love this mat. Okay, this is what we've been working on previously. A uh, little bit dusty still. It's been uh, inside the house, inside the old man cave, so uh, just give that a, a brush off. There you go, not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, turn this over, and it's all gonna start with this metal piece looking just like that. On the side camera, this is going on this side of the vehicle, this way round into the holes that we can see here, but from this side. So if I just line that up, it'll give you an idea of how this is going in, just like that. It's gonna be held in from this side with some SM screws. Now, these are flange screws and initially we only need two of these so just one in this side here and one below it just here grab another sm screw because we've got some more holes to put in and they are just at this side just here so one at the top make that nice and tight Excellent, and just one at the bottom here. And then finally, just one at this back side, just over here. I thought there was more to do in this stage, I have to say, because <laughs> now this is in, making that as tight as I can get it. Uh, that's actually all there is to do in that stage. We've got some reflectors here, which we're not actually doing anything with in this stage. Uh, but there you go. That leads us briskly on to stage 80. Let's see what we're doing. It looks like we've got a uh, right wing here to put on. Massive section with some AM and DM screws. Again, we're going to be putting the reflectors from the last stage into this. Putting some little screws to keep that into place. And then we're attaching this to the main body of the car. So it looks just like that. And as you can see on the side camera from the size of this, this is massive. <laughs> so I'll get this out, end the screws, bring up the mat again so it looks just like this. Now it's this area here which I'm interested in first because I am going to be putting these reflectors in. So if I turn it over, all we're going to do is put the uh, bevel frame in like that. Then we're going to be putting the lens in, making sure that the tab there is facing upwards. And then we're going to hold all of that into place with this bracket here, which is just going to go over the top like that. This whole thing is going to be held in with DM screws. 
again these are flange screws and we just need two of those into position here that's one and that's two god it's good to be back <laughs> there you go so the reflector is now in place we're ready to put this on the car can't really call it a car at the moment it's the uh it's basically the bodywork that we're working on. This is what we worked on last time. So it's exactly the same as what we had done there, but we're gonna be doing it on the other side here. So all we're gonna do is offer this up to the car. Just like that. And once again, like we did last time, it's just a case of putting AM screws in this side to hold everything into place. It's just a case of lining up the screws here and getting them in. The second one's kind of in the middle here. I'm only putting them in gently at the moment. I'm not tightening them in completely up. The third and the fourth are through this plastic panel here. So one this side, one the other side. One just down the bottom of this plastic panel. It'll be a bit tricky getting this one in, but there you go. That's perfect. And then just three at the back here. And there you go. That's all in. And that looks just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 81, it looks like we now got the engine bay frame, a few screws there. So we're gonna be attaching this to the main uh, framework of the vehicle we've got here. Just putting that in with some screws. We've got the front section to put in as well. So by the end of that, it looks just like that. As you can see, some of these pieces are absolutely massive. Let's get this out. I mean, check that out. Look, that's all metal. Let's get this on the main bodywork. Once again, bring up my mat, bring the car over, turn it upside down. And this is just gonna be going with these lips on the inside here. So one this side. And there you go, that's in. Holding itself nicely there, but we do need to keep that in. So first thing I'm gonna do is put some QM screws just down this side here. So first QM screws just going in there. Again, I'm not putting it in tight. Two more either side. I will tighten that with my PH1 screwdriver. Certainly apparent how big these uh, 1.8 models are when you've got the full frame in front of you. Absolutely ginormous. Okay, that's the second one. And here's the third. Now in each of these side pieces here, we're gonna be using the FM screws to each side. And they're just going in here. Once again, I do find this easier because it is hard access in here to just start them off with my PHO screwdriver and then tighten them up with my larger one. There you go, that's in place. Nice and stable. As you can see, it looks just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. That means I've reached the struggle stage now, the stage where I haven't got a clue where I can put it while I'm building. So I've stuck it behind me, hoping for dear God that it's not gonna fall off the shelf. Uh, that leads us just onto the last stage now, stage 82. So in 82, we're gonna be doing the door. And as you can see, we've got some details to, for the door here. We've got the wing mirror to put on. Uh, it's pretty much just the door detail. We don't actually need the bodywork of the vehicle now. And this is what the door is looking like. Show you on the top camera. First thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna be putting the handle on. So this is what the handle looks like here. It's just gonna go into the little indent like that. It's going to be held in from the other side with an AP screw. 
Now in this build, every single screw we need seems to come in that stage. It's very rare we've had to use uh, screws that we've saved from another stage. But there you go, that's the handle in. We're just gonna make the wing mirror now, which means we need the mount that looks like this. The reflector, which is just gonna go on the top there and it's gonna be held in with a CM screw. Now I am pre-putting that screw in there because uh, I had a little bit of trouble getting that in, I have to say. Now I can put this in. And when that's on, it should look just like that. Okay, we've got the actual mirror part to put on now. That's just this adhesive backed mirror here. Put that into position, polish it up, use my mat for that. There we go, we've got a mirror. That's just gonna go into the top here. It's following the shape that we've got of the mount below it. And it's gonna be held in with a DM screw, which is a flange screw here. You will notice that I'm doing these instructions completely out of order. <laughs> so there we go, that's the wing mirror on. And then finally, we've just got the barrel for the lock that's just going underneath the handle there. It is a D-shaped pattern, so it can only go in one way. Check that's through, that's through perfect. And that is the door complete, and that's all there is to do in that pack. So if I just bring the car over here, and just have a quick look at where this would kind of fit, just there, that is kind of how the door is gonna look. Pretty good. Put that gently down. <laughs> I will put the door down, because you know me. First day back, I'm bound to break something. Uh, and that's it. That's all we've got to do for the Dodge Charger for this month. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link in the video description. Tomorrow, we're going to be hopefully doing stage nine. We are going to be doing. I don't know if it's hopeful about it. I just don't know how long it's going to take. Pack nine of the Agora Models uh, Route Master. So uh, that's interesting. I've actually got that down here uh, in bits because uh, I needed to take it apart for the next stages that we've got coming up. So be sure to tune that in. Not sure what time of day that's going to be released. The later it is in the day, obviously the harder I'm having a problem with it. Uh, tonight we have got a live stream. Tonight, tonight's live stream, we're going to be doing the teching. Uh, it's just called a classic car. The teching classic car. You'll see what I mean tonight, but that's 8 o'clock tonight. But I uh, hope you're all keeping well. Take care.